Mongolia in Central Asia is home to one of the largest populations of the endangered snow leopard. The people here keep livestock, and that brings them into conflict with the big cats, which sometimes prey on their herds. Now there's an opportunity for communities to boost their incomes by protecting the snow leopards instead of killing them. It's estimated that there may be as few as 4,000 snow leopards left. A quarter of these may live in Mongolia, but numbers are dropping as they come into conflict with the human population. The snow leopard is facing more threats, unfortunately, here as being very endangered species. And um, one of the threats is number of people's livestock increased, and then they push into the wildlife habitat that gives a chance to snow leopard prey on, on the people's livestock. And because of this conflict, herders uh, kill snow leopards. Bayer Jargal is the country director of Snow Leopard Enterprises Mongolia, an NGO based in the United States that's working to protect the endangered cat. Twice a year, Bayer Jargal and her team visit the sheep herding communities. This week, Uvs province in the east of the country, more than 1,500 kilometers from the capital, Ulaanbaatar. For Mongolian herders, livestock is a matter of life or death. The herd provides the staple foods of milk and meat. To get cash for other expenses, extra meat is sold. So when a snow leopard attacks a herd, it signs its own death warrant. To protect the animals, snow leopard enterprises realized they had to find a way of benefiting the shepherds as well. People are going to do what they need to do to survive. So if you think hard enough, you can find ways that protect snow leopards and their habitat, but also benefit the people. Because if the people are suffering, then you're going to be losing snow leopards too. Brad Rutherford is executive director of the Snow Leopard Trust in the United States, where the idea originated to offer work and cash in exchange for wildlife protection. He says the scheme now helps both shepherds and leopards. Snow Leopard Enterprises was born from the fact that herders couldn't afford to talk about snow leopard conservation unless we could figure out a way for them to improve their lives so that they could tolerate the loss of a sheep or a goat. So from that uh, knowledge, we came up with the idea of turning that raw wool into handicrafts. Uh, and from those products, they could make five times the money they were making from just selling their raw wool. But the great part of the program is we only buy the products when the people join us in protecting snow leopards. Oyun Niam Dorj lives with her husband and two children in the Yamat Valley. The whole family lives together in the single room of the Gar, the traditional Mongolian tent. All 80 inhabitants of the valley take part in the Snow Leopard Enterprises program. The women make toy mice and other figurines with the wool of their sheep to be sold in zoo boutiques and pet shops in the US. In return for this income opportunity, everyone makes a commitment not to kill any more snow leopards. I am making a mouse with lamb's wool. At the beginning, it was difficult to make mice, but we improved our skills. I earn between $600 and $700 per year. This is from autumn and spring sales. It's really good that we get cash and it's profitable. I got a solar panel through a bank loan and paid my loan using the Snow Leopard Enterprises money. Over 400 families are now participating in the project in Mongolia, which is actually a very large number when you see how sparsely populated snow leopard habitat is in Mongolia. The, the key to having this work is that snow leopards can't be killed and, par and people can't be participating in snow leopard enterprises. So we work with uh, 
uh, national parks and their, their staff to monitor and make sure no snow leopards are being killed. Uh, so we comb through their records to make sure there's been no violations of, of our agreements with the communities. It's the job of Erdan Batar Darinza, the ranger, to watch over the 50 or so snow leopards that live within the Yamat Valley, an area of some 250 square kilometers. Look, here is the snow leopard scrape. They usually give five signs of their existence. One, the scrape. Two is the tracks. Three, tree scratches. Four, spraying on a rock. Five, the dropping. The main snow leopard prey is ibex. You can see here ibex horns. Also the argali sheep, snowcock, red deer. These are the snow leopard's prey. Snow leopard enterprises has been playing an important role. Through the program, women's participation has got stronger, and women can encourage men, children and relatives not to hunt snow leopards. Not only has hunting for snow leopards decreased, but so has hunting for wild sheep and goats. Oyunniam Dodge delivers her last six months production to the Snow Leopard Enterprises team. It's a big day for the whole community as the summer's work is sold, orders are taken for the following winter and contracts are signed. The handicrafts are counted and quality checked. Today she's delivering 223 mice and 114 Snow Leopard figurines. Bayer Jargal pays approximately one US dollar per item. In 2010, Snow Leopard Enterprises bought $36,000 worth of objects from 250 families in Mongolia. The forecast for 2011 is $41,000. All told, Oyun Niam Dorj receives about $320. Her family would have to sell a ton of meat at local prices to raise this sort of money. The contract is renewed for the year to come. The community pledges to make up to 3,000 items. If they can ensure that no snow leopard is killed during this time, they'll receive a 20% bonus. That's about $600. Now we, I just delivered this copy of conservation contract to everybody, so they read through and then now they will decide they would continue to renew. Sein Bili Yungi is the community representative for the Yamat Valley. She signs in the name of the 20 families. Before we joined Snow Leopard Enterprises, we didn't like snow leopards because they preyed on our livestock and attitudes towards snow leopards were not good. Now it's different and we understand that snow leopard is an important species for ecology which means other wildlife protection depends on snow leopards. And our lives also depend on snow leopards. Thanks to Snow Leopard Enterprises, a thousand Mongolian snow leopards now live in peace, and 250 herder families have seen their incomes multiplied by five. And since the project started, they claim only one snow leopard has been killed in a participating community. And if Snow Leopard Enterprises wins 2011 World Challenge, what would they do with the prize money? If we win World Challenge, we would like successfully duplicate the program in Kyrgyzstan.